Hello and welcome to our next uh, lecture from this tutorial on how to use Pager Pro and all the functions that you have. So in the previous uh, lecture or video we have talked about uh, basically how to create a new uh, landing page, a new website using Pager Pro and you have seen it's very very simple. Now uh, what we want to show you is how you can use the uh, basically the Mailer Pro function or the service which allows you to send uh, to send uh, emails and SMS in bulk. So basically, we will get in the into the marketing side of Pager Pro. So you will see that uh, in your dashboard after you log into Pager Pro, you have a button in the main uh, in the main area which says Mailer Pro. If you click on that button, you will be redirected to a page where you will have to log in. And this is how that page will look like. This is basically the dashboard for the email and SMS sending service. So you will have here in the left side the main menu. You can see all of your campaigns here and stats. We don't have any because uh, this is a new account and uh, we just want to show you how this actually works. So basically in the menu you will have your main dashboard. Payment is uh, basically if you have uh, credits or any sorts of... Uh, of payments to make for uh, different types of uh, email and uh, uh, SMS uh, services for sending. Uh, phone book, here you will upload all of, all of your contacts. My SMS, this, basically this you, uh, in this option you access the SMS main function and in my email you access <coughs> the email uh, main platform and uh, its functions and settings as well and obviously the reports now uh, you don't need to use the payment function because you will very likely uh, integrate uh, the uh, basically integrate the SMS platform with an outside uh, SMS sending service and the email with an SMTP outside S uh, email sending service so basically first things first let me show you the the phone book basically where you are creating your contacts you are going to access the contact group and in the contact group we just press the add button i'm just going to give this one the name test we save it okay after you have created a new contact group you will go back in the left side menu in the contact section and in the contact section you can either add each contact with first name, last name, mobile number, email, date of birth and you can select the, the contact group and for this example Constantine, okay we just put a random number in here <coughs> random email okay, date of birth or Let's just select a random date of birth in, let's say, 2000, right? And that's about it. We add it to the, to the group test. We save the, the contact. And as you can see, it has been added into our list. Obviously, we have also the function to import. And this is probably the one that you are going to use the most. You just select the, the contact group where you want to import, you, you basically select the CSV file, you, import, you upload the CSV file and basically you will have like a, like a preview here. If it's okay, you press the save button and it will import it automatically. Okay, it's uh, as easy as, uh, as that. Now, let's go back to the main menu and in the main menu we have the sections my SMS and my email. If we go into the My SMS section, we have the SMS API and here we will have to add an SMS outside service as I've told you and we have a few options and basically we, we will have to select the gateway and we will have many options here, okay? Any of these options can work with, uh, with Pager Pro, okay? You just have to create an account there. Uh, you will create an API key, you copy and paste it here. Uh, they will also give you a uh, token or API secret password. You put it here, the API ID, sender mask from, okay, the sender, status active or inactive if you want to use it or not. You will select the one that you want to use to send SMSs, obviously. Then you press save and it will appear to you. 
Then in the left side menu, we have the SMS template. And here in the SMS template, you basically can create different types of SMS templates that you can use in the future. Template name, test. Uh, as you can see here, you can add different personalization uh, words. First name and welcome to the community. Wait for us to write soon. Or something like that, okay? <clears throat> this is just an example. You save the template. As you can see, it will be saved here. You can preview it, okay? This is, the, this is it. And that's pretty much it. Then we have the SMS campaign section. In the SMS campaign section, basically you create a bulk campaign. You give it a name. If you want to use the template, you can uh, use the one that you already have or, or any of the templates you've created. Then you actually have the message and in the message, you can see you have some personalization fields here, which are which can be very useful. Send as you select the SMS API, select contacts, you select the contacts number to send. Uh, if you don't have numbers in the contacts group, you can upload the CSV with all the numbers country code okay you can add the country code and then you can either send the sms's now the sms campaign now or later you can just schedule it okay then you just push the create campaign button and you're pretty much done now let's go back again to the main menu to the sms section you have the birthday wish sms you have seen that when you add contacts you also have the birthday field uh, you can basically uh, schedule sms birthday wishes to all of your contacts from here you just press the add button select the sms api you create an sms template or you create a message from scratch time zone active that's pretty much it okay and they will be sent uh, they will be sent then we have the sms history basically here you can see all your reports regarding the sms's that you have sent the sms campaigns then we have my email section in the my, my email section, you basically add an API. Uh, you already have automatically Mandrill, SendGrid, and MailGun, but you can add other APIs as well. Okay, you just have to add the details in here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if not, you just use the Mandrill. Okay, add the Mandrill API, which is predefined. Or the SendGrid. As you have seen uh, <clears throat> or the mail gun okay but you can use uh, as you have seen almost any type of SMTP then you also have email templates if you want to create email templates just like for SMS's email campaigns if you want to create a new email campaign you click on the new email campaign button give it a name select the API the contact group the email subject template uh, if you have any and uh, if not you just write the message I just wanted to show you the message editor very easy to use very powerful uh, you have all the main features that uh, an SMS uh, sorry an email editor should have okay then you then you either schedule to send it now or later create the campaign and that's pretty much it again here you have the birthday wishes uh, email and email history just like for the SMS platform and then you have all the, the reports for all the SMS that you have sent and the emails that you have sent. Just as an example, let's click for the email report. Uh, okay, you can filter them, you can download them so you can make analyzes, so you can optimize and other things. As you can see, it's very easy to use uh, the Pager Pro services for or app interface, however you want to, to call it. Okay, to basically, it's a marketing tool for uh, making making life easier for you to send SMSs and emails. Uh, basically, you have seen it's very easy to to use. Okay. Now, thank you very much for watching, and we hope that you are going to enjoy uh, enjoy using Pager Pro and uh, make most out of it.